Experiencing the full moon's power is akin to standing in a spotlight on a dark stage. While others sleep peacefully, you are wide awake, feeling every pulse of energy that it radiates. This awakening comes with a shadow. In this newfound awareness, you also discover a sense of isolation. It's like standing on a cliff, feeling the cool night breeze, but looking down to see people you care about walking in the valley, unaware of the forces at play above them. They seem content, engrossed in their routines, oblivious to the moon's deeper influence. You can't help but wonder, is this heightened sensitivity a gift or a curse? Why do you feel the pull of the full moon so intensely, while others remain blissfully unaware? The spiritual tide it brings can lift you, but it can also overwhelm, making you question the balance between enlightenment and burden. For centuries, the full moon has been a beacon for spiritual revelations and heightened intuition. Aristotle himself believed that some humans were driven to madness by its radiance. The term lunacy, derived from the Latin word luna, meaning moon, testifies to this enduring belief. In Shakespeare's Othello, the idea that the moon's proximity drives men insane only cements this mystical connection further. Even famed British jurist William Blackstone opined that people's rational abilities waxed and waned with the moon's phases. Today, despite our advancements in science, nearly 81% of mental health professionals still recognize the moon's potential effects on human behavior. While the full moon brings about remarkable spiritual clarity and energy, it also casts a shadow, stirring unsettled emotions and unexpected physical sensations. Let's delve into the five dark side effects of the full moon on spiritual people, unraveling the ancient beliefs and modern realities of this celestial phenomenon. 1. Sleep Disturbances The full moon has long been associated with disturbed sleep, an effect that's particularly pronounced in spiritual people who often report heightened sensitivity during this lunar phase. Sleep is a cornerstone of mental and physical well-being and any disturbances can have profound impacts. For spiritually inclined individuals, sleep disturbances during full moons can be particularly jarring. These disruptions often translate into experiences that are interpreted through a spiritual lens. Many spiritual practitioners report having vivid dreams or experiencing sleep paralysis when the moon is full. These intense nocturnal episodes can be seen as either spiritual awakenings or spiritual attacks, depending on the context of one's beliefs. A lack of deep restorative sleep can make individuals more emotionally volatile, which amplifies the natural ebb and flow of spiritual experiences. Some spiritual people find that the full moon amplifies both positive and negative emotions, making it a time of powerful but potentially unsettling spiritual exploration. For instance, vivid dreams under a full moon are often viewed as messages or insights from higher realms, but they can also be exhausting and emotionally draining. Research has shown that people may take longer to fall asleep and sleep less overall on the nights leading up to a full moon. Studies have found increased sleep latency meaning it takes a longer time for individuals to reach the first stage of rapid eye movement sleep during the full moon. The deepest part of our sleep cycle occurs just before REM, so delays in reaching this stage can result in not feeling fully rested. A 2015 study revealed that the full moon affects men and women differently. Women tend to sleep less and experience fewer REM sleep phases while men appear to have more REM sleep. While the full moon is a time of spiritual significance and heightened awareness, the disturbance in sleep can lead to both profound insights and significant challenges for those on a spiritual journey. Two, 
Emotional turbulence and mood swings. The full moon has a well-documented history of being linked to altered emotional states. These effects are particularly notable among those with strong spiritual practices, who often find their emotional landscapes shifting dramatically with the lunar phases. For spiritual people, the full moon often becomes a period of heightened emotional sensitivity and instability. This is frequently seen as a time when buried emotions come to the surface, demanding attention and resolution. The emotional turbulence can be both a curse and a gift. While it may lead to emotional outbursts or feelings of despair, it also offers an opportunity for deep emotional healing and spiritual growth. This emotional volatility under the full moon is often viewed through the lens of spiritual cleansing and transformation. The light of the full moon is thought to illuminate hidden aspects of the self, bringing to the forefront issues that need to be addressed. While this can be a painful process, many spiritual practitioners believe it to be a necessary step towards higher spiritual understanding and emotional balance. The human body's circadian rhythms, which influence our sleep and wake cycles, are also thought to be affected by the lunar cycle. However, modern scientific studies have found mixed evidence. Yet, there seems to be an exception for individuals with bipolar disorder. A 2018 study found that in a subgroup of people with bipolar disorder, their circadian pacemaker became synchronized with lunar cycles, triggering shifts from depression to manic states. Spiritual individuals often share experiences of intense emotional episodes during full moons. These might include feelings of euphoria, sudden insights, or even moments of profound sadness. Practitioners often perform emotional clearing rituals during this time to harness the heightened emotional energy for healing purposes. For instance, empaths and highly sensitive individuals might feel overwhelmed by the collective emotional energy during a full moon, picking up on the heightened emotions of those around them. This can result in emotional swings that are difficult to manage, but also offer an opportunity for deeper empathy and connection. Spiritual people often find the full moon to be a time of emotional turmoil that, while challenging, offers significant opportunities for emotional and spiritual growth. 3. Cardiovascular and Physical Sensations As the full moon casts its glow, it brings not only spiritual insights but also noticeable physical sensations, particularly in the cardiovascular system. For spiritual individuals highly attuned to their bodies, these physical shifts can feel especially profound, but for some, they can cause discomfort. Many report feeling heart palpitations, energy surges, or unusual bodily vibrations. These sensations are often seen as the body's response to the heightened energy levels associated with the full moon. The heart, frequently associated with spiritual and emotional states becomes a focal point. Spiritual practices often emphasize the heart chakra as the center of love, compassion, and spiritual connection. During a full moon, practitioners may experience a stronger connection to their spiritual heart, feeling both the physical heartbeat and the energetic pulses more intensely. Spiritual communities frequently discuss physical sensations during a full moon. Some describe experiencing pressure in their chest or a racing heart, which they interpret as the body's way of processing and integrating heightened spiritual energies. Others report feeling a tangible lightness or buzzing sensation in their body, perceived as the influx of moonlit energy. For instance, a common practice during a full moon is meditation focused on the heart chakra. Practitioners often report that these meditations feel more profound and that they experience a far stronger connection to their inner selves. The full moon's gravitational pull 
known for influencing oceanic tides, has intrigued scientists who have explored its effects on the human body, which is primarily composed of water. A recent study investigated how the changing lunar cycles impacted male university students' cardiovascular systems. The findings revealed that blood pressure dropped slightly during the new moon and full moon phases. Additionally, participants experienced lower resting heart rates and recovered more quickly from physical exertions during these phases. Another investigation into individuals with type 2 diabetes reported that while blood pressure remained unaffected by the moon, other related factors such as blood sugar levels and heart rate did exhibit variations. While scientific studies offer mixed evidence regarding the full moon's impact on cardiovascular conditions, the spiritual community widely acknowledges these physical sensations as significant. 4. Enhanced psychic and intuitive abilities. The full moon is often celebrated for magnifying psychic and intuitive abilities, offering spiritual practitioners a time of heightened perception and deepened spiritual insight. However, this amplification can also lead to overwhelming experiences and a sense of being flooded by spiritual energies. Empaths, psychics and mediums report being particularly sensitive to the energies surrounding a full moon. Many find that their abilities to connect with spiritual realms, receive visions and gain insights are notably stronger during this time. However, this heightened sensitivity can be a double-edged sword. While the full moon can enhance clarity and perception, it can also lead to overwhelming psychic influxes. Individuals might experience vivid, uncontrolled visions, intense dreams, or a flood of intuitive messages that are difficult to process all at once. The scientific community has not extensively studied the relationship between lunar cycles and psychic or intuitive abilities. Nonetheless, anecdotal evidence abounds. The moon's historical association with mental states provides a backdrop for the belief in its influence on psychic phenomena. Some researchers suggest the brightness of the full moon can impact melatonin production, which indirectly affects cognitive functions and could, theoretically, impact intuitive abilities. Stories and testimonials frequently cite the full moon as a time of profound psychic experiences. Some spiritual practitioners perform moon rituals designed to harness psychic energies or enhance intuitive capacities. These practices often include moon gazing, crystal charging, or ceremonial offerings under the full moon's light. For instance, during full moon gatherings, it is common for spiritual circles to conduct guided meditations aimed at opening third eye chakras, leading to enhanced intuitive visions and psychic insights. Participants often report experiencing more vivid mental imagery, stronger gut feelings, and clearer messages from their higher selves or spiritual guides. However, this flood of intuition isn't always easy to manage. Overwhelmed by the heightened perceptions, some practitioners report feelings of anxiety or confusion, struggling to differentiate between useful insights and mental noise. This can lead to emotional and mental exhaustion, requiring grounding practices to restore balance. For those on a spiritual path, the full moon is both a time of profound insight and a period that requires careful management to navigate the overwhelming influx of intuitive information. 5. Increased incidents of violence and aggression. For centuries, tales of the full moon stirring human aggression have been plentiful. While some dismiss these stories as folklore, the belief persists that this lunar phase can amplify violent tendencies and impulsive behaviors. In the realm of spirituality, many believe that the full moon's energy can indeed stir latent aggressive tendencies or trigger heightened conflict. For spiritual people, this translates into a need for heightened awareness and precaution. 
Spiritual guides often recommend protective rituals during the full moon to mitigate these intense energies. For those tuned into their spiritual paths, the full moon may magnify unresolved anger or hidden frustrations, bringing them to the surface. While this can be unsettling, it also provides an opportunity for release and transformation. Spiritual practices such as meditation, energy healing, and mindful journaling can help navigate these periods of heightened aggression. Interestingly, numerous scientific studies sought to uncover the connection between the full moon and increased violence or aggression. A comprehensive review of nearly 18,000 medical records found no correlation between the lunar cycles and psychiatric admissions, discharges, or even the length of hospital stays. However, there is some conflicting data. Some studies pointed out specific instances where there were slight increases in aggressive behavior or trauma cases during the full moon, though the findings were not consistent enough to draw definitive conclusions. Stories of increased tension and conflict under the full moon are common in spiritual communities. Many share experiences of unexpected arguments or confrontations, attributing them to the heightened energy of the lunar phase. As we reflect on these five dark side effects of the full moon on spiritual people, it's evident that this celestial body profoundly impacts our lives in ways that blend ancient wisdom with modern understanding. While scientific evidence may not fully endorse every belief, the anecdotal experiences and historical accounts offer insights into how the full moon can influence our spiritual and physical well-being. Understanding these effects allows spiritual individuals to better prepare and harness the full moon's energy for positive transformation and growth. Whether through grounding practices, meditation, or protective rituals, managing the full moon's powerful influence can lead to deeper self-awareness and spiritual clarity. Have you experienced any of these side effects during the full moon? How do you prepare for and navigate the lunar phases in your spiritual practice? We'd love to hear your stories and insights. Drop a comment below. While the full moon can bring challenges, it also offers profound opportunities for spiritual awakening and emotional growth. Embrace its light, but remain mindful of its shadows, finding balance in the dance between illumination and introspection. Thanks for watching.